Japan's Toy Tengoku. I'm Artis. I'm Robin. And we are here today with a couple exciting new arrivals. And we will be opening them up, getting them out of the box to show to you in detail. Yeah. But first, we have a special guest star today. A special guest star? Yes, and Who it is it be? Sano Maru. Yay! Yay! Sano Maru. It's the mascot of Sano City, Yay. where Hobby Link Japan is based. Mm -hmm. And Sano Maru, who has joined us for several past episodes, such as when he met mommy out of uh, mommy chan mommy chan out of uh puella magi madoka magica that's the Thank one you. and i remember the madoka part uh -huh. uh, but anyway we, we have had a restock at Havi link japan of sano maru goods yeah and so we thought we should show some of the new things that have come out for sano maru this is the large sano maru and this is the medium sano maru and he has a handy ball chain in the back so you can attach him to your bag and he will follow you around. And then there is the, for the first time we've carried these, these yeah. are the small the Sano, Sano Marus. And they have a little K-Tie type, little mobile little, phone type strap, yeah. but they can attach to pretty much anything. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. So there's your choice of sizes of huggable, cuttable, plush Sano Marus. Yeah. And for the first time, we have some neat Sano Maru uh, pin back buttons that say Sano Maru on them. I like the one of him doing. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Sano Maru says thumbs up. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Yeah, it's right from the front. So it's like, it's an interesting angle on that. Yes. And then we've restocked on the mouse pads. Yeah. This is a neat design. I like this image a lot. This, this is, is really this is cool. This is really, really cool. cool. I wish they'd do that like on a t-shirt or something. Yeah. Sano Maru enjoying a quiet evening in the moonlight. And then the more impish. You see, this is what I think of for Sano Maru. Yeah, you don't really yeah. think of him in the moonlight, which yeah. is what makes it so cool. Yeah. 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 So, uh, kind of a cute little guy. So, yeah, a couple of mouse pads have, have come back into stock, along with the three sizes of huggable, cuttable, plush stuffed Sano Marus. Yes. So, yeah, that's the Sano Maru family. And uh, our regular co star here, Sano <laughs> Maru, he will be along to check out your. Oh, boy. Your thingy to open this ah, episode. Yes. What we have here is the coveted Saber Maid version. This is from Alter, and this is a big and beautiful figure of Saber in a charmingly frilly maid's outfit, as you can see. I'm going to turn the box around just a little bit so you can see all sides of the box. We're going to be taking that one out of the box, checking it out. This is version R. Is that for renewal? Or? Uh, renewal or re-release or something like that mm. because this figure was actually originally released back in 2007. 2007? Yeah. And it was really, really popular then. And in answer to fans' anxious demands, Alter has decided to re-release her. Mm. So here she is. We're going to let her out of the box and get a better look at her. All right, here's Saber out of the box. Saber, Saber, I'm your biggest fan. Sanamaru, you say that to all the girls. Yeah. Excuse me, this is my part of the show. You, you can come in later. Sorry, honey. Here she is. Look at this. She's big. She's beautiful. This is a really well sculpted figure. We were um, admiring the detail in the ruffles and the the fabric of her outfit. I'm going to go ahead and turn her around. Look at the detail even in her hair. I mean, wow. she's got this incredibly complicated hairstyle, and this is just really, really well sculpted. And for those of you who might feel guilty about looking at a female figure, uh, we'll just let you know that you cannot avoid looking up her skirt while attaching her to the, to the base. <laughs> so you just can't help yourself, so we don't, tried. Don't, don't feel guilty about <laughs> we it. We tried. So yeah, she's, this, is, this is a real knockout figure. Now, it might look like her dress is black, but it's really a very dark, like almost a purplish blue. It's mm. like um, it's like the first coat of paint was like a dark metallic purple blue, and then they did an overspray of black on it, which kind of makes it look like velvet, which I think is really neat. Um, this is really a neat figure. She's, I, I think she's cool. I mean, 
I'm sorry, I think maid outfits are kind of cute. Now maybe, you know, maybe not quite that short, but she's, this is a neat, I mean, she's a, a neat character. Lots of people really like the character. And uh, this is a, we even, we even took the mop. I was going to say, if you're into house cleaning, <laughs> yeah. you know, this is a must-have for, for collectors. Oh, yeah, mop. absolutely. It's a fine, it's a absolutely it's great a wonderful mop. mop. And actually, the, the way the mop, <laughs> Yes. I don't want to sound like I'm taking it really seriously about the mop, but the but the what you call it job use on the mop the strings. It's the strings, thank you. The yeah, mop the, head. the strings, the, the mop head. Yeah, yeah. they they lay really nicely. Yeah. It's like it's very realistically. Yes, well, they is. kind of fall over the top of each other. It's yeah. it's really nice. I've neglected to mention the name of the sculptor. Gosh darn it! The sculptor was a Kuramoto Ikuma for millimeter modeling, and they did a fantastic job. I mean, look at this. This is this is amazing. I, I I think the one thing that always blows my mind is what they call the drapery, the way the fabric is moving and the way it's, you know, the way it, it has a sense of motion and the way it's folded and gathered and stuff. It's a ter terrific job done with this. I mean, you would you would you would think you could touch it and it would be soft. Especially fabric. with a standing figure, because yeah. when a standing figure has motion like this in the mm -hmm. clothes, your your mind just kind of follows that motion. So it's not like she's standing still, it's like she's moved yeah, into that yeah. position. She's just kind of, you know, yeah, exactly. And all the detail on the ruffles, I mean, I wouldn't even want to have to try to sculpt ruffles. That would just make me completely insane. I think this is a neat figure. Anybody who's a fan of Saber would definitely, definitely do well to add the, her, to, her to their collection. Now the one I get to open this time is a real hoot because this is Sun Red. Sun Red. Yeah. Now this is a Figma from Fat Company uh, in conjunction with uh, Good Smile, mm -hmm. and Fat has been P H A T has been bringing out some some really neat things. They've mm -hmm. brought out several uh, Sun Red related items, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe they are also who brought out the little capybaras. Yeah, that I came think out you're right. a few months ago. Yeah, I think you're right. We didn't get many of those, but they were super adorable. Yeah, they I have were a wonderful. soft spot between the between the ears for capybaras. But Fat has brought out. They brought out um, General Vamp mm -hmm. shortly ago, mm -hmm. who was sold out and gone. Sold we had hoped to show him to you together, yeah. but you know, he's he's <laughs> gone. So here's Sunred. We didn't move all by enough. himself. We don't get to have the battle yeah. royale here. <laughs> and the animal soldiers. The animal mm -hmm. soldiers came out too. They're also sold out and gone, yeah. which yeah. was unfortunate. But I wish they would have made more. Yeah. It'd be nice if they do make more. Yeah. I hope these Sunreds, uh, those lines, mm -hmm. items within that line, sell a lot. Oh yeah. Sunred is awesome. <laughs> uh, it was animated. It's based on a manga, and it mm -hmm. was animated. Ah, oh, this is late two thousand, like two thousand eight, two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. Couple series of it, uh, but now they're finally getting around to bringing some things out. Mm -hmm. We had gotten, I can't remember who made it. Was it Cospa and Usakots? And Usakots. Yeah, it was a about plush. Yeah. yeah, it yeah. was. It was fantastic. Really well done. And we didn't really know what it was at the yeah. time because we weren't up on Sunred yeah. then. Uh, so it came and went, and that was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Now we know what it is. It's like, come on, guys, make more stuff. Make more stuff. So Sun Red has some neat accessories, and I am going to let him out of the box. Oh boy! So he can put them to use. <laughs> and now we have Sun Red. Sun Red. Here he is. He's got a cloth outfit. Wow. He's got flip flops on. <laughs> Yay, flip flops. He is ready for a lack of action. <laughs> he wants no action. He wants no part of action. Yeah, he's kind of a slacker, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and the last thing he wants is to be bothered by those, you know, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Come be floor shine, guys. Yeah, the evil floor yeah, shine organization. Yeah, to knock him off to take over the world from their base in Kawasaki. <laughs> Kawasaki City, Kanazawa Prefecture. <laughs> So here we have Sun Red, and he has various accessories. He also has a slew of hands. It's neat how they have them all on this little. Yeah, the, those little racks that they supply them on are really hand, handy. If handy, you're this so pun. to speak. <laughs> See what I did there. So we've taken a couple of the hands and uh, connected them to some of the accessories of which he is most fond. So let's pop him off. Aye. Whoops, I didn't Ow. mean that like that. Let's put his gun in his hand. <laughs> hey, that gun really doesn't look terribly threatening. It's mm -hmm. kind of toy-like. So here he is with his gun. Ooh, look out. <laughs> He's scary. But let's have something a little more typical. Oh, yes. Here he is heading home with his beef bowl. Beef bowl in a bag. From Yoshidaya instead of Yoshinoya. That's a neat thing about... Uh, 
about the animation is mm -hmm. the locations mm -hmm. are done exactly after locations in, in uh, <laughs> Kawasaki, in Kawasaki City. Uh -huh. So. Yoshidaya is a pun on Yoshinoya. So there actually is like a little playground somewhere, like where he's usually getting together with the. Four oh yeah, well there's all those are all <laughs> over Japan. That could be any place in Japan actually. But so here he is with his with his bag of beloved beef bowl, and then once he gets home, he can kick back and have a smoke. <laughs> I'm not sure this is the first figure I've seen that comes with cigarettes, but it's one of the first. No, okay, any Sanji figure is gonna come with a cigarette, to be honest, but. Unless it's on TV in the US, and then we have to change it to a lollipop. Yep, that's true. Now, of course, he spends a lot of time, when he's at home, uh, at his girlfriend's place. Mm -hmm. And so then he would be on the tatami and he would be barefoot. Mm -hmm. So there are these here, you can just, you know, swap those in with his flip-flop feet. But either he's taking a smoke or... Or enjoying a lollipop. More typically, he's enjoying an adult beverage. An adult beverage. An adult beverage. Uh-oh. A foamy adult beverage. Way to go, Sun Red. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Let me put this on there. There he goes. Here he is with his favorite adult beverage, which is a can of Nama beer. You'd ask if it was a recognizable brand. Uh -huh. uh, it's, it just says Nama on mm -hmm. it, which is like draft. I'm not sure, but that might be Asahi. Mm -hmm. When I drink beer, it tends to be out of a bottle, so I'm not yeah. real familiar with the, with the cans, but that, that might be Asahi. Mm -hmm. Is that general silver? No, it doesn't say Asahi, but it's like a difficult it's, silver it's design with the Yeah, it is the designed black very writing. much like the Asahi beer label. Yeah. So. so there we go, sun red, and he can be posed and <laughs> Various ways. Various he also ways. has his fishing pole. Fishing pole comes in two parts. Do 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 do, <laughs> and then you just slot it together, because the because uh, of course the Tama River runs through Kawasaki City, mm -hmm. and so a lot of it takes place in that river area. And if you're going to be near a river in Japan, you got to have a fishing pole. Oh yeah. Even if you're in the middle of a city. So you know he'd he'd rather not be in action. He'll just yeah. go fishing or or play pachinko. Go play to video the arcade. games. Yeah. So, there we go. That is Sun Red. <laughs> Sun Red is awesome. Not yeah. necessarily somebody you'd want your kids to emulate. But. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, that's the thing. The Floresheim guys are such good yeah. citizens. They're polite. They're nice. They're polite. You know, General Vamp is a, is a textbook, you know, you know Middle example. manager kind of guy. Yeah, and yeah. exactly how you would want a, you know, polite Japanese yeah. guy Excuse to be. Excuse me, can we meet at the playground this week so we can beat you up? You know, and always tries to make an appointment with Sun Red to do it. And you know, Sun Red, he's just you know such a jerk. Yeah, super super <laughs> jerk. And you know, of course, not all heroes in that world are, are jerks. Like mm -hmm. you know, Totori Senshi Sakyun. He's mm -hmm. a Sakyun is an upright guy. You know, mm -hmm. he's a noble and self-sacrificing guy. Of course, mm -hmm. he's from Totori. Yeah, you know, everybody's nice at yeah. Totori. But yeah. you know, Sun Red, he's he's, he's, he's just a jerk. So, which makes the show so funny. Yeah, that's a yeah. great show. I, I wish we had the animal soldiers to show off. There's Usakots, who's the little rabbit. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, we had a modified Usakots be on our, be on our top page. Are we allowed to say that? Oh. Uh, when we were we, when we had the Year of the Rabbit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, welcome to the Year of <laughs> wow. the Rabbit. Yeah, Ryan cool. tripped up tricked up something neat with Usakots. Wow. Uh, <clears throat> there's also Hellwolf, mm -hmm. who's the cute little wolf. Cute. You know, he wolf. wants to kill you, but he's so cute he can't say it in a threatening way. So he says, "Koro chill." <laughs> Instead of Korosu. Mm -hmm. You know, and then there's a. Uh, Pichan Kai, who's the, the mecha bird, mm -hmm. and uh, what was the cat's name? Double Cat. Double yeah, Cat. Yeah. yeah, so I hope we, I hope we restock on those, because those yeah. are really awesome. They're very fun. And they're in scale with the... Uh, the General Vamp and with Sunred, yeah. the Figmas. Yeah, wow. and unfortunately they released the Animal Soldiers first and, and General Vamp long before Sunred came along. So, Well, not long before, like a month, a yeah. month before, maybe two months before. You know what would be neat is if they could do like a box set of all of them together, but... I don't really think that's probably depends that they, on how these yeah, sell. Yeah, yeah, how these sell. But you know, the animal soldiers are gone, yeah. and General Vamp was gone, and you know, Sunred just came out, mm -hmm. and he's selling quick. Good. So uh, yeah. There so with luck, that will encourage them to to do them yeah. as a set for folks who missed out, like right. us. I want them. Okay, so that's that's Sunred. Oh, and you can you can pose him. They show on the box where you can pose him laying down, like in the. Uh, 
in the opening title, mm -hmm. they show him laying down. And mm -hmm. That's that's what the, the I, I noticed that the the bare feet um, they have this clear joint in them which is frozen in place pretty much. This joint will not move, so that's basically to be used only for when he's. Uh, Sacking out, enjoying himself. Oh, good point. Yeah, because he would be inside on the tatami then. Yeah. For yeah. in Japan, you're supposed to take off your shoes when you go inside, and you never, ever. I mean, you even take off your slippers that you wear inside. Yeah. You yeah. take those off when you go on tatami. Yeah. Because you're just supposed to be nothing but barefoot yeah. on tatami. Yeah. So yeah, there's his, there's, there's his bare feet. feet. Whoops. I oh no, I messed okay, them up. Well, Sorry. Okay. Them. Well, there we go. That is sun red. Time now to kick back and relax with some questions. Oh boy. Yeah, we had some questions and comments come in from folks who've uh, watched episodes on YouTube and on HobbyLink.tv. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Here's a question. Actually, this is more demand. It's from Riser188 who says, I want to see Labrys Figma. She's so cute. Labrys, L-A-B-R-Y-S. Uh, she's a character out of Persona 4, mm. and uh, it's my understanding that they will be releasing a Figma of her sometime in 2013. Uh, no month has been set, but uh, prototypes have been shown, mm. um, unpainted prototypes. So she looks really cute. She looks, you know, just exactly like she did in the game. So that should be fun. Wow. Looking forward to her coming out. Cool. She, she is cute. She's going to be a lot of fun to mess around with that one. Okay. Well, here is a question from Tribal Spider 13, who has comment about last last time's episode. Who says, "I just about fell out of my chair. Big plastic boobs. <laughs> a moment that will live forever. A shining moment in Toy Tengoku history." He didn't say that. She did. <laughs> <laughs> and he asks, "Can you or he or she asks, can you two show more One Piece figures and maybe a few Evangelion ones also?" I'm sure we will at some point in time because there's always all lots of neat looking neat stuff from One Piece and Evangelion always coming Evangelion, out. Evangelion, yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Okay, we'll keep an eye out and see yeah, what comes down the way. Definitely. Yeah, because how we decide what we're going to show a lot is first of it is off of people's requests, mm -hmm. and we keep, always keep that in the back of our mind as we mm -hmm. look to see what the new items are that have been coming yeah. out. I mean, things come in. Every day, yeah. every yeah. day stuff is coming off the trucks yeah. and it comes into the office. We get samples of each and come into the office so that we mm -hmm. choose what choose to do what to, as, yeah. we're, as we're writing them up for mm -hmm. the, the web page. Mm -hmm. so, but we'll keep that in mind yeah, and see what else yes. comes down the road too. So, uh, okay, this is uh, Manuel from Chile. And Manuel from Chile asks, I was wondering do you know about any plans to restock the Figuart Zero Frankie New World version? Because it's the only Mugiwara I need in the series to have the whole set. And believe me, I don't want to buy it from Amazon at 159 US dollars. Ouch. Well, yeah, Frankie came and Frankie went really quickly. Yeah. Uh, this is Bondi's Figuart Zero. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the, the list price on that was 3,500. Mm -hmm. Yen. We mm -hmm. sold it for 2,800 yen. Mm -hmm. It was here and gone like that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we have not heard of any plans to restock it or for yeah. Bondi to re-release it. Mm -hmm. But just for the heck of it, to see kind of what the going rate on those are right now, I took mm -hmm. a look on Yahoo Japan Auctions mm -hmm. a few minutes ago before we, before we came on the air. Mm -hmm. And um, the starting, the lowest mm -hmm. they're going for mm -hmm. are buy it nows of 8,000 yen. Ow. Yeah, Boy. which is you know, more than double it's the It's not quite $159 US, but that's still, that's still way up there. Absolutely, Ouch. yeah. So, uh, yeah, they are what could be termed now as collectible. A hot item. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, it doesn't yeah. look like they're going to be re-released soon. Anything could happen, but Yeah, that's right true, now, that's true. It could yeah. still happen. So yeah. we'll hope for you. We'll yeah. hope that Bondi yeah. will decide yeah. to do it. But right now, yeah, uh, the prices are up there on it yeah, on the second hand yeah, market so sorry about that hey thank you for watching this episode we do appreciate it yeah and uh you can also see some close-up photos of what we've shown today on facebook mm -hmm. you'll friend us on facebook yeah. and go by check it out see close-up photos from all various angles oh yeah up close and personal up close and personal yeah, absolutely wow. and uh also we're on hobbylink.tv mm -hmm. and of course on youtube mm -hmm. 
what are we going to be doing next time? Next time is real exciting because there's going to be some uh, some highly anticipated Nendoroid releases at the end of this month. This is August. Mm -hmm. And so those are going to come out in the next couple of days. Fantastic. So in our next episode, it's going to be a special da -da -da -da! Nendoroids episode. episode. Woo! Yeah. That'll be exciting. Yeah, so you aren't going to want to miss that. Yeah. So I guess that'll wrap it up for this episode, I huh? I guess it will. All right. So we will see you next time on, on Toy Tengoku. Tengoku.